Hello there, in this video we're going to be talking about how to implement your MetaHuman character for mobile, specifically Android, because we're working on Android. If you don't know how to implement your MetaHuman character for a uh, third person character, you have the link pop up here or you have all the links needed in the description. So if you haven't already done that, please go ahead and make sure you implement these things. Then we go to the third person character. If you don't know where that is, it's in the world settings. Um, or if you don't have that, come in here in the window tab and make sure that you have world settings enabled. And then the default pawn class, whatever you set it up, it's something you know because you haven't implemented the whole thing. For me, it's called third person character. And if I go to the viewport, I have the metahuman character. Don't mind him, he's just <laughs> looking down for nothing. Um, so this is the metahuman character. This is the whole thing. We have the mesh. We have um, all the face, even hair. Um, uh, groom assets actually work in Android. They, it, they wouldn't work in Android uh, Unreal Engine 4, but they are working now and they look really, really good. But performance wise, it's not cheap to render such a um, complicated asset. So you can just go ahead and implement everything and make sure you have the LOD sync copied and pasted into the third person character. Uh, this is something I have told you in the implementing metahuman character video. So make sure you have that or if you, you can just type it here and um, make sure you add the component to, to the third person character. Okay. If you come in here, you'll have um the LODs so I'm using um the forced LOD 2 so if I go ahead and use LOD 0 the character will be high quality but not now since we're working on the Android previewer um this is something I'd recommend to use either 2 or 3 this is the whole point make sure you don't go something really really high it will be really really heavy on your android device and always make sure to use the android previewer if you go in the settings you have the preview platform and you can just um go ahead and change the previewer for whatever you want if you're working on ios you can select this one if you work on pc this one it is if you're working on consoles i'm not uh, and I don't have it, you can select it here. Uh, so Android OpenGL Mobile and um, you can switch it back to PC by just selecting this one. Something to note here is that the skin materials work just fine in Android, but the clothes materials don't work at all. So you just have to go ahead and create some materials um, from the textures you're using. That's gonna take a little bit of time, but that's something you have to take care of. And if you don't know how to create those, you can just come in here in the material. You can just double click on the material, uh, find the textures in the content browser, go to the textures, and then use the textures like this. You don't need to use this one. For example, I'm, this is just for AO. Um, so yeah, detailed texture vari variation. You can just go ahead and find this one and use this one, add it to the, mic uh, to the macro, and so on and so forth that's for another video but um this is like the easiest way to explain everything to uh, put everything short shortly it just works you just have to fix some stuff uh, like LEDs and materials and groom asset even works in um android es 3.2 and um i hope this was helpful and if it was please hit that like button and have a great day bye